you're currently unable to replay missions within Halo Infinite. 343 developer goes into reasons why and when can we expect that feature to come in. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let us know if you want to see some more content like this. And so the video today guys, we're talking about more campaign greatness, which the campaign itself is fantastic. Though it seems like it might be a little unfinished, but I think that's just kind of the point we're at right now with Halo Infinite. It seems like the general theme of like what is the core experience of the game is really freaking good, but everything else around that game is kind of lackluster and not be able to replay campaign missions seems to be kind of like that as well, but it seems like there's light at the end of the tunnel as well. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's just get right into the content here. So Paul Crocker, who is the Associate Creative Director at 343, goes into why there is no ability to replay missions within Halo Infinite's campaign. Saying the main reason is because being a more open game and non-linear game, it became incredibly challenging. It's not that it doesn't work, it's just it's not finished yet. Which kind of just sounds like the running theme with Halo Infinite pretty much like 343 has put a big emphasis on saying that the launch of Halo Infinite is just the start. The launch of Halo Infinite is going to be completely different than any other Halo launch we've ever had with the game as a service and a live model and a and game working as a platform. We're going to continually get these updates and things changing for the game. Now me personally, I'm bummed about this. I would really like to play some of the campaign missions over again as someone who's already played it. It's a lot of fun and some of the missions are really well done. I was kind of hoping to go back and do some capturing to do like an all cutscenes kind of video but sadly that doesn't really seem to be like a feasible case for me right now though i will say there is just so much stuff to do within the campaign as well that like if you try to 100 percent halo infinite's campaign you're gonna be feeling pretty done with the campaign as the most part because it's gonna be like a 30 maybe even 40 hour game for some people out there because when i played the campaign i played it on heroic just a one time through and i was like playing through and i was like jesus christ there's so much to do and i need to get this game done before the release of this embargo so i just needed to kind of speed run the second half of the game so i played on heroic it took me about 10 10 and a half hours to play the campaign and i have skipped a lot of content at the end of it all it said i completed about 35 percent of the campaign pain that's after playing some fobs doing some side missions some hvts and things like that so rescuing some marines and also just completing the campaign as a whole it led me to a pretty substantial game length and so i don't really feel like this is going to be a huge pain this might be something that might, might be coming down later down the line when if you end up 100 percenting halo for this campaign then yeah there really isn't going to be much to do in the world because you can't replay things but maybe by that point you might have already finished but maybe by that point you can start up a new save and do co-op and then once you're done with with that co-op session then maybe the replayable missions might come in then it's kind of like rpg light elements also in here like the open world guys is massive there's so much to do in the game that like you're going to be constantly wanting to do new things and go to new places within the world that i never really felt that fatigue or want to go back to replay missions obviously once the co-op comes in we definitely will want that with season two's release in may so I, I don't even know if it will get that replay feature in co-op because Crocker states that they don't know when that feature will be put into the game. It's currently in the works right now, so I would maybe expect it maybe within the first year of the game being out, we'll probably see the ability to replay missions. But as it stands right now, I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. I think it just kind of just feeds into the more of the idea that like this first year of Halo Infinite is going to be like game building it feels like and feature building where then like maybe year two and year three will actually have like a full game experience that people have kind of come to love and experience when it comes to expect expectations when it comes to Halo. I will say guys that after I finished the campaign it just kind of puts you out into the open world and you're like hey finish off anything you didn't complete yet so there still is a lot to do in the game, guys, trust me. So obviously replaying these campaign missions is something I kind of expected to have happen in the game, but it's not there. Uh, maybe when co-op comes around within six months, but I doubt that even. But I just want to re-emphasize that there is so much content to do in the game that you're really not going to want to backtrack and redo things, only for like, if you really want to do them kind of stuff. Because right now as a stand, you'll just have to do a new save. You can have up to, I think, four different saves for your game. Because the only time I ever found myself wanting to replay missions is after I completely 
completed the game and also wanted to keep playing the campaign experience, which like I said earlier, once you complete the campaign, it kind of throws you back out into the open world and you can kind of finish up whatever you haven't completed yet. And like I stated again, I'm putting a big emphasis on there's so much to do. There's so many new things to do every single time you play that you don't really feel the want to replay missions, if that makes sense. I know it sounds terrible to say that, but like honestly, like I'm more interested in completing new tasks than completing the old ones. Though it's important to note that Crocker does say that your collectibles do carry over as they're tied to your profile and not to the game save itself. So things like skulls and different kind of collectibles that are within the world of Zeta Halo do permanently unlock and so you can utilize a skull that you unlocked in one save in a different save as well. Co-op and replayability of missions won't be hand in hand, though we will begin co-op sooner because they had to reprioritize this feature. 3 for 3 mentioned this pre-prioritization with Halo Infinite's development as well after the initial release of the multiplayer as they're also putting a big focus on developing the progression and changing things up a lot of that with a lot of revamping the systems and so there's a lot of just like having to redo a lot of work because some of the stuff that they launched with really isn't that great and you know I'm glad 343 is taking the time to really fix up the game to a state that we would really like to play it's just a shame that we have to kind of wait for these features to come in now this whole kind of development cycle that's going on with Halo Infinite right now is kind of rocky. It seems to be kind of the case throughout the entirety of Halo. And also in Gaming Insider, Jason Schreier talks about how Halo Infinite's development was kind of like Anthem. Making that comparison, that's quite concerning. And he said that like he was surprised to see such a good game be released from such a rocky development. Saying on Twitter, two and a half years ago, a number of 343 staff passed around a big Anthem article lamenting that much of it could also be applied to Halo Infinite. That's a big yikes. Someone pointed out at the end of that kind of development hell, you can wind up with an anthem or you can wind up with a God of War. And not to sound like a total shill here for Halo, but from what I've played guys, it's like God of War side of things. Like it just sounds so crazy that like the development of this game was just like on the fence of like complete disaster, like an anthem or complete success, like God of War. And I think we kind of felt more on the God of War side of things, but obviously there is a lot that needs to be fixed up and a lot of things that need to be added to the game to kind of give like that true Halo experience that we come to know and love when the game launches. But like I said earlier in this video, guys, it seems to be a reoccurring theme that like the content that's there, that the true like core content of the game, like the multiplayer gameplay, the campaign gameplay and story is absolutely fantastic. Just everything else around it, like features and things you come to expect with the Halo game, uh, not so much. Though we'll keep you guys update as soon as we get more details about the development of replayable missions and the campaign features as well. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos I've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.